This video shows how to complete a suspension job on a 2005 Chevy Impala. We're going to install these Duralast loaded strut assemblies all around the vehicle. It's a faster install and gives you better ride control. Now you can do this job at home with hand tools. These are the tools you'll need for the job. Big tools like the 36 millimeter deep socket and the torque wrench you can borrow for free from AutoZone with the Lona Tool program. You'll also need a good hydraulic jack, some jack stands, and wheel chocks. Make sure the car is in park with the parking brake on before starting. Now, loosen the lug nuts. Jack up the vehicle from a secure point and place it on jack stand. Remove the lug nuts and the wheel. Remove the brake hose bracket bolt using a 10 millimeter. Remove the axle nut socket using a 36 millimeter deep and a breaker bar. Use a punch and a mallet to knock the axle loose. Using a 21 millimeter, remove the lower strut nuts. Use a mallet to knock the lower strut bolts out. Remove the strut from the knuckle. Remove the top three strut mount nuts using a 15 millimeter and then remove the strut assembly. Install the new strut assembly and the top three strut mount nuts. Install the strut assembly to the knuckle and install the two strut mount bolts and the nuts that go with those. Torque the axle nut to 134 foot-pounds. Install the brake hose bolt. Install the wheel and the lug nuts. Get the jack to raise the vehicle off the jack stand. Remove the jack stand. Then lower the vehicle till it touches the ground slightly and torque the wheels to 80 foot-pounds. Repeat on the other side and you're ready to move to the rear. For the rear, raise the vehicle and remove the wheel using the same procedure as the front, just with the appropriate wheel and support points. Remove the brake caliper bracket bolts using a 13 millimeter, and then remove the brake caliper. Remove the sway bar link nut using a 15 millimeter socket and wrench. Remove the lower strut nuts using a 21 millimeter. You may need to use PB blaster to loosen the bolts here. Whack on those bolts to get them out of there. Now we've got to go inside the trunk. Pull back the carpet to expose the top strut nuts. Remove the three strut nuts using a 15 millimeter. Remove the loaded strut from the spindle and remove the strut assembly. Now install the loaded strut assembly. Use the spindle to mount the lower strut and push the strut up into the frame of the vehicle. Install the top three strut mount nuts and tighten. Install the rubber cover cap and then you can install the carpet. Pull the spindle up into the lower strut mount and install the bolts. Now you may need to tap these in with a hammer and once they're in, tighten those nuts. Install the sway bar link and nut. Install the brake caliper and tighten the caliper bracket bolts. Install the wheel and the lug nuts. We're going to use the jack to raise the vehicle up off the jack stand. Remove the jack stand, then lower the vehicle until it touches the ground slightly and torque the wheels to 80 foot-pounds. Then lower the vehicle the rest of the way. Repeat this on the other side and you're done. We recommend going for a test drive, getting an alignment check, and enjoying your new suspension. Yeah!